Friends. It's Cassidy with Cassie's Books and I'm really excited for today. I'm going to be doing kind of like a bookstore vlog type of situation. I'm on the hunt to get the Bridgington series. So I figured I would try my local uh, used bookstores first and then buy the rest online. It was usually like pretty hit or miss on like what you can get and then all that kind of stuff. So super excited for it. You guys can come along with me and see how successful I am. bookstore and I'm on a mission to get some Julia Quinn books because I really want to read the Bridgington series before the new season comes out so I will update you guys and let you know if I'm able to find some books I was successful. I definitely found some books. I got the first book, The Duke and I. And guys, look at that back. Mm, Kinch. Okay. And then I got the fourth book, which is uh, rom Romanticizing Mr. Bridgington. So I got the fourth one here. Kind of a weird mix. It's like that when you shop uh, used. I'm going to hit a couple different stores and see if I can get some more. You can hear my daughter in the background. She's a little, she's ready to take a break. So we're going to go home and grab lunch and go back out there and maybe hopefully find some more of the series. I had some success today. Only managed to get like three books, which isn't like great, but it could be worse. So I got the very first one, The Duke and I, which look at that. Oh my goodness. I mean, historical romances have like the best covers. Okay. Then I got book four, Romancing Mr. Bridgington. And then I managed to find book six, when he was wicked. I'm pretty happy with everything. The books are each like $3 a piece, which is like so cheap. I ended up only spending $9 on three books. Super happy. I think I'm gonna rest, uh, buy the rest on the, I'm gonna say it wrong because I get confused. I think it's called Panda Books or Pango Books, something like that. It's a used book app anyways. I was kind of looking on there and you can find um, a lot of cool books on there. So I'm gonna go on there and see if I can find them and then I am planning on reading all of these books before the new season comes out. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to be vlogging it and kind of doing all my reactions and things like that. Make sure you watch out for that. That is going to come out towards the end of February, which I'm super excited about. And then I would say, say this little shopping thing was a semi success. I was thinking about hitting up like Goodwill and then another store. So we'll see how my daughter is doing. She's teething right now, so it's a very sad time for her. I might go do that tomorrow, and then I'll catch up with you guys and kind of show you if I was successful and found any more books. But yeah, so far today was a success, three books, and then we'll see what I can get tomorrow. Okay guys, it is Sunday, and I wanted to give you a little reading update. Let me try to catch you up. Okay, so where are we at? I finished uh, Twisted Love last night. And I'm reading Twisted Games right now. And I'm also planning on starting Frostblood possibly later today. We'll see if I get to it. Twisted Games, or was Twisted Love first, was so freaking good. I saw a book thing or whatever, like on somebody's stories on Insta. And I was like, wait, I need to read these, this book. And then she was talking about like the third book. So I'm like one of those people, like even if the books are standalone, like I have to start from the beginning. 
So I started with Twisted Love. I'm on Twisted Games. The first one followed Alex and Ava, I believe. And I'm getting a little confused now. Alex and Ava, the, he called her Sunshine the whole entire time. I mean, it was it was very like morally gray man. It's like a contemporary romance, spicy scenes, guys, just so you know. And it was super good. There's a lot of like, you know, the plot actually like extended out over like years or like a year or so. So it was actually like a really good storyline. I enjoyed it. It was kind of like just like a cute, semi cringy read. And now I'm on to the second one, which is following Rice. Rice? How do you say that? R Y. It's like R H Y S or something like that. Reese? I don't know. And Reese and then uh, Bridget. So Bridget is like a princess and uh, he is a bodyguard. And I feel like I already know where the plot is going. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys, but I have a suspicion about what's going to happen because right now Bridget is going to be queen. You know, she's next in line to be queen now because her brother stepped down for true love and she can only marry another royal. So I have feeling about what's gonna happen but anyways it's super cute I love it I needed after reading uh Crescent City uh the house of earth and blood I needed kind of like more of a light-hearted contemporary romance feel and this is like exactly what I need I need like I'm gonna burn the world down for you man yeah I just needed like a story like that and that's exactly what these are I think the third book when I was talking to that person on Instagram about was like a one bed trope which I just love all those books so I'm looking forward to the third book we'll see when I get there but yeah there's my reading update I think I'm gonna read some of my kindle right now and I have like a couple, little bit of work I want to do on my uh computer and then hopefully when my daughter wakes up from her nap we can uh, go to a couple different uh thrift stores and see if I can find some more Julia Quinn books to complete out my Bridgington series today earlier I said I wanted to finish uh trying to find more of those uh Julia Quinn books but unfortunately my daughter is not feeling well she ended up getting a fever so I have been staying home and taking care of her all day it's always really hard when your kids are sick so um she's been extra like clingy she's just been laying on me all day and just like really cuddly and pretty sad so that has been <laughs> what I'm doing I just put her down for her nap so Hopefully she goes to sleep and I hope her fever starts to go down some more and that she feels better by tonight. And during the day, I realized it's like Super Bowl Sunday, which I just like, I don't follow sports at all. But if you guys are watching it, yay. Like, who are you rooting for? It's like the Rams and somebody else, I think. I have no idea, guys. I'm a book person, not a football person. No idea what's happening, but I know my husband's excited for it. And he is excited for all the snacks. So we're going to have like a bunch of snacks at home and just kind of like hang out. And, and hopefully my daughter feels better. And I'm thinking that her her teeth are coming in really bad in the back right now. So I'm thinking she's just teething and that's why she's getting a fever. So mm, we'll, just, we'll just wait and see how it goes. Hopefully she's better tomorrow. If not, I'll probably give her doctor a call. Reading wise, I have not got a chance to read like at all today. Just because of my daughter being sick and everything, I've been really busy with that. So I'm trying to debate if I'm going to start Frostblood or if I'm going to keep reading. I think I'm going to keep reading Twisted Games. So I kind of want to see how this ends. I already kind of know what's going to happen. So I'm like really nervous to like read it. We'll see if it actually happens. But I think I'll read this and then maybe start Frostblood tonight. I've heard that it's super freaking good. So I am really excited to start that series. And I wanted to update you guys on... The House of Sky and Breath, that, according to Amazon, that's where I bought it from, is going to be here on Tuesday. I am so freaking excited for that book. I literally just finished that book last week. So I'm so excited to read the second book. And I think it's going to be so good. I love Bryce. I love all the characters in there. And I think it's just going to be really interesting. So yes, I'm super excited for that one. I also think I have a, a fake rate coming this month, which should be fun as well. I'm trying to think of what the book is, but I can't remember. I'll like make sure to insert the text, but I am having a lot of good reads so far and I am really enjoying February. Hey 
everyone. I wanted to give you guys an update. I basically got no reading done this weekend. Um, I just read, I started, or finished a Twisted Love, and then I started reading Twisted Games. I didn't even get to Frostblood yet, but it is what it is. My daughter was not feeling well, so most of my attention was devoted to her, and we had lots of snuggles, and uh, yes, that's basically what I did all weekend. I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I did a little decorating. I don't know if you guys can see. I have, like, this super cute, like, flower wall going on now and I got these in the mail I want to show you guys it's like these super cute like butterflies it's on Amazon and I think they're so cute but basically they're like that and you can like stick them on the wall so I was thinking about adding them somewhere I already put some above my desk on that wall over there and I was thinking about putting some on my bookshelf and then maybe like around here we'll see what I want to do but yes, I've been like decorating my space more and I'm like loving all like, it's like cottage core, like super cozy in the forest vibes and I'm here for it. I love it. It's definitely turning into my little reading slash mini office space over there. In case you guys are wondering, ignore my messy desk. There's the butterflies. So cute. And then over here I have like the wall with all the pretty flowers and some mirrors there but yes super cozy cottage core vibes i absolutely love it i haven't decorated my bookshelf yet but i plan on doing that soon and i'll make sure to uh, make a video about it as soon as i finish that exciting news i'm for sure getting my uh, house of sky and breath tomorrow <laughs> it's coming in the mail and i'm so freaking excited. So I really should try to finish Twisted Games today and then I'm going to read that tomorrow and I'm so pumped up for it. Sorry there wasn't that much reading this time around guys but hopefully this weekend I can get some more reading done and I'll let you guys know how I like uh, House of Sky and Breath. I might do a vlog on that one too so uh, look out for that. I'm super excited for it. Make sure you follow me over on uh, TikTok and Instagram at Cassie's Books. I post over there every single day and I love interacting with all of you guys over there. And then uh, subscribe and give this video a like. I post content every Tuesday and Friday. So I will see you later this week.